My fiancé blames me for getting needle spiked. I, a 19-year-old female, was drugged yesterday evening while going to a small festival. I had two apple beers, and after that, I felt my stomach getting upset, so I went to the bathroom. I did what I had to, but when I went to stand up, I felt myself getting weak in the knees and getting dizzy. I knew something was wrong after I got up fully. I went to a security guard thinking I wasn't careful enough with my drinks and that someone dropped something into it. The security guard took me to the first aid and there I had to stay to make sure I wouldn't pass out. During my stay, before my parents picked me up, three other girls came in with the same symptoms. That night, I went through hell, but I refused to call my fiancé, a 19-year-old male, because I knew he was at work and didn't have his phone with him. Today after, I woke up and called his mom to let her know what was going on, and to watch out since it's a town they live close to. She was glad I'm okay and wished me the best luck and the I'll see you Tuesday greet. My friend, 18-year-old male, texted me after I warned my friend group to stay alert. He advised me to let myself get tested for AIDS and other blood-transmitted diseases, because God knows where that needle might have been. I thanked him and went to text my fiancé, who was just done eating dinner. I gave him a short update, telling him what had happened, and that thank God I was saved, but I got met with a, I don't care, it's your own fault, text back. I'm at a loss for words, and I just feel hurt because it wasn't my fault. I was only one of the unlucky girls that was targeted for the spike attack. I honestly think I should break it off since his previous accusations when I was sexually assaulted in August of 2020 still linger with me, and I still clearly remember that he told me he couldn't look at me the same after he went to support me in court. My head says leave him but my heart desperately wants to stay, since we've been together for almost four years, had our ups and downs, and supported each other when we needed to. I know his views towards sexual assault are terrible, and that I'm getting dragged back into my healing process because of it, but I'm too scared to lose him, despite knowing that it might be better for me. Edit. Jesus, this blew up overnight. I've read through the comments and want to clarify a few things. I'm from the Netherlands, legal drinking age 18, meaning I ordered my own drinks. Second of all, why it's confirmed I've been needle spiked, I have a puncture wound on my leg, similar to the one you get when you're vaccinated. This was confirmed by my doctor. While my blood is still being tested for disease and to figure out what the hell was in that needle, the doctor did confirm to me I was spiked. Now, for the last trouble, my soon-to-be ex-fiancé. I'm planning on going over today to get the last of my stuff before leaving for good. I'm writing a letter beforehand to not fall into the circle of being overwhelmed with emotion again and chickening out. If I can't do it face to face, he'll at least read it from a handwritten letter. You guys have absolutely hit the nail on the head and even though I cried a lot, I know it's better to leave and never look back. Edit 2. The break off was like ripping off a band-aid. I tried to tell him how much he hurted me with that text, but he decided to double down. I told him that this was the end and walked out. Now I hope I don't fall back to him.